So I'm gonna show you how to transfer your photos and videos from a Windows PC over to an iPhone. For this tutorial, I'm using my Windows 11 computer. I'm also using my iPhone 14. If you've come upon this video and you're, you're on a Mac system, you can follow along in this tutorial as well, and this process should work for you. The first thing you need is to open up your favorite browser on your Windows computer, Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, whatever you guys use, whatever. You just need to be able to go to iCloud.com and log in. And once you go to iCloud.com, you get logged in. And what you wanna do is when you're in iCloud.com, you wanna to go to the photos. So if you can't find it, go to this little menu up here and go to photos, make sure you're in photos. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is basically copy these pictures that are over here in my temp folder. I got like three pictures, I got two videos, and those are different types, file types. So this is a .mov, this is mp4, this is jpg, jpeg, and heic. These two are pretty much the same, even though the file extension's a little different. But if you guys, you might not see that on your particular Windows computer. If you'd like to know what file types you're working with, let me just show you a quick little tip. Go to these, little, these three little dots, come down and choose options. When this folder opens up, go to view, and then down in here where it says hide extensions for known file types what you want to do is uncheck that and then click apply and okay and what that will do is pop up the extension here on the end like .mov then you know what file types you're working with before you're dragging them over to iCloud photos so the first thing is basically on your Windows PC you can go to your videos and pictures you can grab one of them and you can actually drag them over once you have your browser open and you're in iCloud photos but what's happening is if I leave go of that a lot of folks are getting this issue right here. There was a problem uploading one file and there's also, you know, it does that even if I try and copy over a video file and, you know, an HEIC file. Now, these JPEG files here, they'll actually work if I try to put those in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab one of them. I'm going to drag it over and put that in there. So then you'll notice that that's uploading one JPEG file, okay? So there's that picture. Now let's jump over to our device and go into the Photos app. You'll notice that, well, it, yeah, it popped up in there right away. Sometimes it takes a little bit before the pictures will actually show up in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of leave that open and I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is drag this mountain lion picture over. This is a JPG file. And we should see the same result. I'm hoping that it shows up there on the phone. It should pop up here. If not, it will go into, probably go into recents, but there it popped up. So there we have the two files, the two, supported files that are copying over into our device, iPhone or iPad. I'm just gonna get out of here for a minute. So I have a couple of more things here we have to do. So in order to get the video files over and this HEIC file over to your camera roll, as I still call it in iCloud Photos, you wanna go up to this little, all these little dots here. What I want you guys to do is go to the one here that says Drive. That's gonna take you directly into iCloud Drive. And then over here on the left, go to Browse. I want you guys like in this kind of main root folder here. You wanna be directly in your iCloud Drive, okay? And then all you need to do is you can basically go on your system and if you click on one of the files here, the ones that you're trying to move over, we're just gonna put them over an iCloud Drive. So I can select the files here that would not upload over to iCloud Photos. and then. And I can kind of select them all at once. Then I can click on them and drag all three files over directly to iCloud Drive. And then you'll see that they're gonna be here loading. So we'll give them just a minute here to load. Your files may take longer, but mine are a little smaller. So once they're in iCloud Drive like that, you can actually go here and sort by name or kind, which is probably file type. So I'm just gonna kind of sort that. What we wanna do now is jump over to our device. And what I want you guys to do now is go into the files app. That's like the default one on your phone. So find this folder on your iPhone or iPad that's called files and you wanna go in there. And then when you're in here, what you wanna do is browse to iCloud Drive. And what we're gonna do is scroll down till we find those three files. Some of them might pop up, but if there's a little cloud over here, what you want is you want them to look like this middle one. So what you wanna do is touch that little cloud, um, go back, but touch the little cloud on all of them so they get downloaded onto your phone here. So what you wanna do is up here, there's like this little menu with these three little circle with three little dots, tap on that, choose select. And then what I want you guys to do, whatever pictures and videos you wanna put into the iCloud photos, check mark them. 
just like that. You can select them all at once. And then what I want you to do is down here, tap this little square box with the little arrow. And then where it says save three items, you're basically just going to select that. Okay. Now we're going to jump back to the photos app. And now you'll see that they're popping up in here. So there I believe is the HIC file and that video file and the other video file. So automatically they're all three popping up in the iCloud photos. So let me jump back to iCloud photos over here on the computer. And you'll notice that down here now, we are basically starting to see our stuff pop up, okay? And it does take a little bit sometimes. Let me go back to library here, but it takes a little while. You may see it actually pop up while we're talking. Eventually here, there, it just popped up now down in the corner, the other one. So they are slowly starting to pop up. It just takes a while. There they are. So basically, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. There are five files in iCloud Photos now. So I'm going to jump back over to the iPhone here and go back into iCloud Drive, back where we were originally. And what you want to do is delete all of the pictures and videos that you moved in here. Because once they're in iCloud Photos and you're happy and you counted and all your stuff's there, you don't want another copy of them in iCloud Drive once they do get moved over to iCloud Photos. So what I do is I go in here, slide this over, and I delete. Or what you could do is choose select all, and you could go down through and do it that way and then delete them all at once. But what you wanna do is get rid of them because iCloud Drive shares the same space as iCloud Photos. So basically, you don't want them in there double. This is the last step. Basically, once you're happy and you get everything moved over that you wanted to get moved over into iCloud Photos, go in here and delete them. What you also wanna do is go into recently deleted and remove all the stuff from in there too. Delete all of that because that also takes up your storage, uses up your storage and space. And that's pretty much it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it really helps some of you out. If you liked the video, hit that like button and I appreciate when you guys share the video. See you in the next one. Have a good one.